people who they feel they cannot help. Thanks, Cynthia. We'll come back to you. I, don't, I want to go quickly to Stoystown, Pennsylvania. The moment ABC Stan Harris is standing by. Four aircraft involved today. And, and we know that on each one of them there was a hijacking in process. And the, the aircraft that crashed near Johnstown, Pennsylvania, uh, was United Flight 93 with 38 passengers and seven crew on board. ABC's Dan Harris rushed to the scene of that accident. And I hope is with us now. Dan, do you hear me? Peter, I do hear you. And we have a new piece of information on this crash from ABC's Lisa Stark, who, as you know, covers aviation for ABC News. She tells us that Flight 93, which, as you mentioned, was departing from Newark and headed to San Francisco, filed for a change of flight plan request, requesting to change its destination from San Francisco to Washington. Shortly after that, it turned around and crashed about a mile from where we are right now in Stoystown, Pennsylvania. It crashed, and I believe we have some pictures of the crash scene, crashed in an open field. All, that's, all that you really see there is a huge crater. You can't even see it very well from our vantage point. A huge black gaping hole, as investigators are describing it. There is a lot of debris, most of it very small pieces of black charred remains. The FBI tonight is making a huge grid and tomorrow morning it will begin what it calls a painstaking process of gathering the evidence. At this point they say they're treating this as a crime, though they won't go so far as to say it is indeed an act of terrorism. If indeed the plane had successfully turned around and headed back toward Washington, and now it appears there would have been one more target, it did not make it, which is fortunate for Washington, unfortunate for the 45 people on board. No survivors, Peter. Uh, Dan, it was indeed a chilling moment when you when you made a reference there to uh, to United Flight 93 asking for a change of flight plan headed for San Francisco, asking for a flight plan that takes it to Washington. Have you picked up anything else on the ground tonight? We have picked up from the FBI that there was 911 contact from the plane. Now they wouldn't go so far as to confirm a report that has been circulating. The report says that one of the passengers locked himself in the bathroom of that plane and called 911 at 9:58 a.m. Got in touch with a local 911 operator in this part of Pennsylvania, uh, southwestern Pennsylvania, and told him there had been some sort of explosion on the plane. Shortly after that, two minutes later, in fact, the plane did go down. That report is not confirmed in total in some. However, the FBI says it has received tapes of a 911 call, and it is going to go over those tapes. Just help us place Stoystown, Pennsylvania, a little more, with a little greater familiarity to people. You're fairly close to Johnstown? We are fairly close to Johnstown. Stoystown is about 75 miles southeast of Pittsburgh and about 30 miles north of Maryland. It's a very rural area, and the area where the crash happened is really very, very rural. It's an open field, and as I said, there is a, a huge crater. There were some eyewitnesses, coal workers, who ran to the scene shortly after the, uh, after the crash. We've heard that uh, they saw the plane going down. It was very unstable before it went down, as you might imagine. People have, who live nearby say they, heard the ground, they felt the ground shake miles away. People who went to the scene, we spoke to one eyewitness a short time ago, said she saw lots of debris, but nothing very big. And in fact, that's what our pictures are bearing out, that the debris is very, very small. This made a very hard landing, Peter. Thanks very much, Dan Harris in Stoystown, Pennsylvania tonight on the United Airlines flight, which started off from Newark to San Francisco, took off about 8 one. You see where it all converges? The first attack on the Trade Towers just before 9 o'clock. The second one is after that, that an aircraft goes down at, um, what, sometime 8 35, between 8.30, maybe a little after 9 o'clock. Um, and so the co